Hey gang, I know uh, I just talked about Mont and Bailey with regards to whether or not diversity was our strength, but I was struck this morning when I saw that New York Times nonsense about the deep state. And, uh, I'll, you know, I'll see if I can find a link to something below um, and, and put it below. But essentially, the deep, uh, what the New York Times was alleging was that the deep state's great. It, it, it exists, but it's it's wonderful because it's just our, our glorious civil servants doing God's work. And and so they, they picked three, you know, mid-level civil servants from across the country and, you know, pointed out to what great things they do and how they, you know, they're just normal people that uh, do Pilates and like to cook food. And one of them's into Star Wars. And so they're just like us. And, uh, and it got me thinking about Mont and Bailey. I feel like there's probably a better rhetorical device that, that, that describes this better than Mont and Bailey, but I'm just going to go ahead and ram it in there since that's what we were talking about the last time. This is essentially also kind of like, you know, two things can be true at the same time. So, but I guess most Mont and Bailey uh, could be devolved into, into that same statement. So, oh, I'm not driving. So, hey, look, I have a cocktail. How exciting. So... Uh, the Mont Bailey in this one, basically, the argument is the the deep state exists and it's a good thing. And the the Mott, the totally defensible, obvious, no kidding position is what what the New York Times presents. Well, look, you know, the civil service, it's necessary. We need one in order to exist. And they're and they're normal people. They're just like you and me. And so there's nothing evil going on here at all. That's totally defensible. I think that. You know, with the exception of a small sliver of anarcho-capitalists the, the, or the extreme libertarians, we can all kind of agree that we need some kind of government around us. And in this case, we're specifically talking about a federal government, uh, you know, a, a system of mandarins that, that, that exist and, and carry the government functions day to day. Nobody can argue with that. Uh, I mean, again... You know, there are people that could argue with that, but I don't think as a general rule, it's very productive. What the Bailey is, though, and what they're using the Mott to disguise is when the existing deep state, when the existing federal government, and specifically, I'm looking at you, intelligence agencies and you know, law enforcement agencies, use their existing power... Uh, to affect political outcomes, like when uh, the government spied on the Trump campaign. This isn't a, it's, it's, not, it's not a opinion of mine. I didn't think, oh, you know, I, I, I think that I believe. No, I mean, everybody knows this is a fact that the federal government spied on the Trump campaign. Remember when that one jackass FBI guy was like, oh, no, yeah. Yeah, man, the office politics, it, it just tells you, you know, the adults are children. And uh, it was Peter Strzok, I think was his name. And he was saying, oh, we've got a plan B. Uh, you know, we're not going to let this guy take office. I mean, holy shit, the guy just got elected president of the United States. And you're saying, not on my watch. What the hell is that? Okay, that's indefensible. That That is when, so when, when people complain about the deep state and the uh, unelected power that they wield, they're talking about people like Peter Strzok. And he was not in, like a lonely individual. There is a deep rooted, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to stop short of saying the word corruption, but there's definitely a deep rooted animosity towards outsiders and change. And they saw the democratically elected president as a threat to that order and they still do and we can see it in these ridiculous prosecutions i did not vote for trump in 2016 i don't particularly like the guy uh i you know i i do like a more moderate people i you know actually his, his policies were all really good <laughs> and, and i i'm an asshole on twitter too so i guess i'm just being a hypocrite um but you know, it, it's just to me, it's unfathomable that that you could deny that there is some kind of central power out there in the federal government that we are calling the deep state that is nefarious and 
basically doing anti-democratic, anti-American things and needs to be addressed and needs to be defeated. So again, the Bailey is that, that it's, it's indefensible to say that, yes, absolutely, the federal government should be picking and choosing winners and losers in national elections or in any elections, for crying out loud. You know, everybody gets a vote, and that's the limit of their effect on the elections. That's the Bailey. And the Mott is what the New York Times tried to sell you on a, on a frickin' platter today, which was, no, no, the deep state's just civil servants. I, you know, I've... I've mm. Anyway... That's all I had. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there and uh, and I'll check you guys out later.